Hello there, my name is Sandil. Welcome back to our channel, English with Sanjana. Today, let me help you with geography. Unit 1, the composition of the earth. This lesson is very important for all grade 10 geography students. The main objective of this lesson is to examine in detail the composition of the earth which is our habitat. As we all might be aware, the earth system is composed of four main subsystems. They are atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere and lithosphere. And also you will have a chance to understand the interactions among these four subsystems. For an example, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is taken by green plants in the biosphere. Next, carbon dioxide joins H2O in the hydrosphere. Then they change into glucose and oxygen which is the byproduct in the process of photosynthesis. Finally, oxygen is emitted into the atmosphere. This natural phenomenon clearly explains the interaction among atmosphere, biosphere and hydrosphere. In this video, we will only be looking at lithosphere and its composition. Lithosphere consists of Earth's crust and upper mantle. Lithosphere is the home for all living beings. Most of the human activities occur in this layer. I have already included lots of pictures for you to understand the lesson clearly. As usual, at the end of the lesson, there are some activities to test whether you have already taken the essence of the lesson. Then join me in this lesson on the composition of the earth. If you are ready, let's start with lesson 1. The composition of the earth. What is the unique place among the planets in the solar system? The answer is the earth. The objective of this lesson is to examine in detail the composition of the earth, which is our habitat. What is the surface area of the earth? The surface area of the earth is about 510 million square kilometers. As I mentioned in the introduction, there are four subsystems of which the earth is composed. They are lithosphere, solid earth, atmosphere, gases, hydrosphere, all water, biosphere, all life. Now it's time to look at interactions among these four subsystems. There are so many examples to prove, but I have taken only some of them. First example, the water in the hydrosphere is added to the atmosphere through evaporation. The interaction between hydrosphere and atmosphere. Second example, evaporated water falls again back to the earth as precipitation. It shows the interaction among atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere. Third example, the bioenvironment in the biosphere is composed of soil in the lithosphere, air in the atmosphere and water in the hydrosphere. This example clearly explains the interaction among the lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere. Look at this picture here. The tree takes air in the atmosphere through stomata in the leaves. The tree absorbs water in the soil through rods. Now let's take a look at how the components of the bioenvironment impact on the hydrosphere, atmosphere and lithosphere. 
animals in the biosphere breathe in oxygen in the atmosphere and releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere in the process of respiration. It shows the impact of the biosphere on atmosphere. Animals and plants in the biosphere use water in the hydrosphere for various purposes. The impact of the biosphere on hydrosphere. When the animals and plants in biosphere die, they get decayed and help in the soil formation. The impact of the biosphere on lithosphere. Now we are going to learn about lithosphere and its composition. Lithosphere includes Earth's crust, upper mantle. Look at this diagram. It will give you a clear idea about the composition of the Earth's crust. Earth's crust consists of two parts. They are Continental crust, Oceanic crust. In terms of layers of the Earth, lithosphere is the most important layer for all living beings. Therefore, I would like to draw your attention to special features of the lithosphere. The lithosphere is the home for all living beings. Most of the human activities occur in the lithosphere. The living and non-living resources which are found in the lithosphere are utilized to fulfill human needs. As I said earlier, the lithosphere is the most important layer of the earth. It provides the congenial living space for all organisms. Therefore, I do emphasize on this point. The lithosphere is affected in various ways due to human activities. First, we need to understand how the lithosphere is affected due to human activities. Then we can take all possible measures to mitigate the damage we cause as humans. The occurrence of land degradation due to excavation of land to obtain mineral resources. Intensification of soil erosion as a result of exposure of land due to clearing of forests. Changes seen in the surface of landscape. Changes in the ground water level. Damage due to certain layers of the lithosphere as a result of disposal of domestic and industrial waste. That's all for today's lesson. Now let's move on to some activities. Question number one. Name the four main subsystems that the earth is composed of. Now pause the video and write the answer. Atmosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere. Question number two. Explain the interrelationship that exists among the subsystems with examples. First example. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is taken by green plants in the biosphere. Next, carbon dioxide joins water in the hydrosphere in the presence of sunlight. Then, they change into glucose and oxygen which is the byproduct in the process of photosynthesis. Finally, oxygen is emitted into the atmosphere. This natural phenomenon clearly explains the interrelationship among biosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. Second example, plants in the biosphere utilize glucose produced in the process of photosynthesis. Next, glucose joins oxygen which is taken from the atmosphere. Then they produce energy, water and carbon dioxide as final results of the process of respiration. Finally, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. This natural phenomenon also shows 
a clear interaction among biosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Third question. Illustrate the structure of the lithosphere using a diagram and name its parts. Continental crust, oceanic crust together form Earth's crust and upper mantle. Fourth question. Write three uses of the lithosphere. Lithosphere provides us forests and grassland for grazing. It provides us land for agriculture and settlements. It is a rich source of minerals. This is the end of the lesson on the composition of the earth. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and it gave you an amazing opportunity to understand lithosphere and its composition. If you find this video useful, subscribe to our channel and make sure you press the notification bell. Then you know when the next lesson is coming. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.